For the city, the Honda HR-V is quite compact and dynamic, and thanks to the presence of all-wheel drive, it copes well with the duties of a vehicle for outdoor enthusiasts. We understand the features of a used Japanese. Introduced at the 1998 Tokyo Motor Show, the Honda JWJ prototype caused a storm of positive reviews. A year later, taking it as a basis, they began to produce a serial model, called the HR-V, High Rider Revolutionary Vehicle. This car became one of the founders of a new class, small all-wheel drive SUVs. Three-door versions were the first to see the light, they lasted on the assembly line until 2003, but a year later the five-door version added to the range of bodies. By increasing the wheelbase, the car has become 100 mm longer, which has a positive effect on the amount of legroom for rear passengers. In the basic configuration, the HRV is equipped with air conditioning, ABS, two airbags, full power accessories, glasses plus mirrors, and headlight range control. On richer versions, there are heated seats and mirrors, a sunroof, 16-inch alloy wheels, a CD changer, etc. The ergonomics of the driver's seat deserves praise, the controls are conveniently located, and the seat has a set of all the necessary adjustments, which allows you to easily accommodate a person of almost any height. The level of noise and vibration isolation of the cabin at altitude. All this greatly expands the target audience of the compact HRV. The capacity of the trunk with the full crew is very modest, only 285 liters, which indirectly confirms the urban orientation of the car. There are other signs that indicate that the crossover is not intended for long trips. This is a low maximum speed, limited to 165 kilometers h, and a rigid short stroke suspension, the vagaries of which are especially evident at speeds above 130 kilometers h. The quality of the paintwork is at a high level, the body is galvanized, but it is recommended to treat the bottom with an anti-corrosion coating at least once every three to four years. In addition, it is necessary to regularly monitor the condition of the fender liner. The car was equipped with two inline four-cylinder 1.6-liter gasoline engines with a capacity of 105, with a traditional gas distribution system, and 124 horsepower. With VTEC system, despite the modest volume and power, both versions of the motor spin up quite confidently to high revs and pull well even a densely loaded car. The reliability of Honda units is legendary, and HRV models are no exception. They practically do not require maintenance, except that once every 10,000 km it is necessary to change the oil and once every 100,000 km, a timing belt with rollers. In addition, unpretentious engines easily digest domestic gasoline, demonstrating a very moderate appetite compared to classmates. Both motors could be aggregated both with a 5-speed mechanics and a V-belt variator CVT. The dynamics of a car with an automatic transmission is generally higher but its low reliability and expensive maintenance give the MCP a big head start. The main sign of a heavily worn variator is slight vibrations on the body at the moment of starting off, which is especially clearly felt on the gas pedal. It is recommended to change the oil and the variator every 40,000 km, and with an active driving style, even more often, every 20,000 km. For CVT, a special oil is provided, Honda Ultra HMMF, and it is strictly forbidden to use anything else there. In mechanics, oil also changes every 40,000 km. Clutch with a careful driving style usually takes care of about 150 to 200,000 km. The suspension of the car is tuned for an active ride. A car with an impressive ground clearance, 170 mm, has quite sharp reactions to steering inputs and copes well with large irregularities. The front suspension is independent, McPherson type, a semi-independent beam is installed at the rear. Both axles are equipped with anti-roll bars, and it is they who bring the first trouble to HRV owners. Already after 40,000 km, it may be necessary to replace the struts and bushings of the front stabilizer, the rear ones go about 100,000 km. The silent blocks of the front levers are changed separately, but if the ball bearings are worn out, you will have to change the lever assembly. Initially, the car was equipped exclusively with all-wheel drive, but in 2001, front-wheel drive versions appeared on the market. The real-time 4WD all-wheel drive system is based on a multi-disc viscous coupling. Its peculiarity is that on the pavement the car behaves like a front-wheel drive, respectively, and consumes less fuel. But as soon as the front wheels begin to spin, the rear axle is connected, which pushes the car. The reliability of the all-wheel drive is quite high, but it is necessary to monitor the anthers of the hinges and change the oils in the differential every 60,000 km and only Honda Ultra DPSF or a newer VMT4 analog should be used. Also, 
Before buying, it is necessary to check the presence of backlash in the cart and crosses, its resource is 150 to 200,000 km, since the crosses do not change separately. If an unpleasant sound is heard when passing sharp turns, then a bulkhead of the rear gearbox is necessary. This problem can be revealed already by 80,000 km. The old Honda HRV is a comfortable and well-balanced car, and with timely and qualified service, it is able to please the owner with high reliability. On weekdays, it is convenient to ride it to work, and on weekends you can easily get to your summer house without fear of even slightly washed out country roads. However, do not get carried away. Serious off-road tests are strictly contraindicated for a typical SUV. The motors are very reliable. Once every 10,000 km, it is necessary to change the oil. Once every 100,000 km, a timing belt with rollers. Engines easily digest domestic gasoline and have a very moderate appetite. Both engines were aggregated with both a 5-speed mechanics and a variator, CVT, which is less reliable and more expensive to maintain. The main sign of it swears a slight vibration on the body when starting off. The car's suspension is tuned for active driving. After 40,000 km, it may be necessary to replace the struts and bushings of the front stabilizer, the rear ones go about 100,000 km. The silent blocks of the front levers are changed separately, but if the ball bearings are worn out, you will have to update the lever assembly. The quality of the paintwork is at a high level, the body is galvanized, but it is recommended to treat the bottom with anti-corrosive at least once every three to four years. It is necessary to monitor the condition of the fenders.